Ah, oh, shit. Fog the lens up. What's up, everybody? You see the title, but before we get into today's video, I wanted to get a little serious with you guys. Some of you know I started making videos a long time ago. I started making music a long time ago, and I did it solely for the purpose of helping other people and enjoying the progression of creating and experimenting all on my own. I didn't care for people's validation nearly as much as I have been recently. I saw a clip of Will Smith talking about how if you indulge in all of the compliments and the praises and you need that to keep you going, then when people start booing you, it's gonna hurt a million times more. You can't live by the praises or you're gonna die by the hate. I feel like I learned that the hard way. Somewhere along the way in this journey, I had lost myself and I feel like I am rediscovering myself. And I just wanted to apologize to you, my supporters. I, I really do appreciate every single one of you guys and it's not fair to myself, but more importantly, it's not fair to you guys. So I just wanted to apologize from the bottom of my heart for losing my purpose, for letting money drive me, letting praise drive me instead of just like being happy with what I'm doing, being happy with helping people. And and I think that the impact of the things that I do that help people kind of goes under the rug for me. I think it's hard to see the fruits of your labor while you're working. I do think purposes can change, but it didn't change for the better. I started doing things for the praise and for, for the monetary value because bills have to be paid. And if you let that become your main concern, it's just not gonna be the same as if you were making music for the pure enjoyment and the expressionism inside of creating something alone. So I'm truly sorry. I'm never gonna let it happen again. I'm not saying that I will not do sponsored videos or that I'm not gonna sell products or anything like that, but I think I've learned my lesson. I love you guys. I'm looking forward to what's ahead and, and the things that we're gonna accomplish, the things that you guys will accomplish and in, in, in seeing the progress. <sighs> Yeah, that felt good to get off my chest, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's get straight to the video, man. I'm trying to cook up. All right, I'm gonna use my boy Savant's new multi-kit digital romance. And basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through these loops and we're just gonna chop something up. Let's run something like that. And we'll just layer that. All right, so let's go ahead and find a cool little R&B sample. Mm. I like that. All right, let's open up Serato. I like that a lot. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up a bit. Select all.
All right, so we have the general bounce. I'll probably add another little chop section so that way we don't get tired of this. Meaning I'll just basically change what chops of the sample that we chose. This is like the general consensus of the beat. We'll probably do a bass line and then we'll probably, I'm gonna see what this analog lab bank is hitting for real quick. And if you're fucking with this kit, you can grab it in the description. My boy Savant made it, it's on his website. So shout out to Brody. I'm gonna go ahead and open the, the window or I'm gonna go ahead and open the folder. So that way I can install the analog lab bank. And if you don't know how to install one, it's very simple. You go to these three horizontal lines up here, you go to import and then you're gonna just find where it is. I didn't even click nothing. How's it important? I was about to say. Um, so I'm just gonna go here and then I'm gonna go to kits cause that's where I know the folder is. Boom, multi kits, click it digital romance multi kit and then we go in here analog lab bank should be a lab x file you just click that click open and then it should import without a problem presets imported successfully didn't even take a minute go to sound banks and then you should be able to find it here let me see there it is okay all right let's go ahead and use a base from here even fuck it go have loved doing recently is basically organizing my channel rack to be where all the drums are grouped together and how i did that was this is how it was before all you do is click on left click on these little uh bars here and it'll outline whichever one you have selected in green after you select it you can do alt if you're on mac it's option and then arrow key up or down while you're holding alt and it'll move it up or down in the channel rack so i move it all the way down to be with the baseline that way all of my drums are here together and then what I do is I left click and I drag on all of those boxes, select my drums, and then I'm going to go to the mixer here and do control L. That's gonna put all of them on, on uh, mixer track number two, which y'all can see it just did. And then all I'm gonna do from there is go and add a thermal. You can also try things like a saturator. You can try, like you can add honestly anything here. I'm not gonna lie. Like I even like adding some delay sometimes, some reverb, like a filter uh distortion whatever the case is this is like a distortion plugin everybody should know it by now it's by output yeah we're just gonna go ahead and see what some of these sound like Sometimes what I like to do is take the kick off of that mixer track. And I like this bass that we have. Let me hear what these ones sound like though. Let's add a thermal to the bass, make it a bit more prominent. I actually love the tone on that. I'm gonna go ahead and copy these over, make one of them unique, and we're gonna take the half time off. Um, and what we can do here is actually automate this to be off for two, on for two, and then what we can do is move pattern two over there. So that way we can work in the non half time section. And yeah, basically what I'm gonna do is add some new chops here. Uh, I don't, so. The trick to connecting them, I mean, honestly, anything can work. How I can make these two sections connect is I can keep the drums the same, and then I can remember the ending of the section. So like, you see how it's all Ds? You see how it's all Ds? So basically what we can do is we can start this new section on like a D sharp. So that way it naturally connects. If you don't get what I'm saying, I really don't know how to explain that to you. Since it's D at the end of this pattern here, Going into a D sharp is the next highest note possible, and it is naturally going to be the next sample chop. So it shouldn't sound bad. We're gonna go ahead and see what D sharp sounds like. And we're gonna, ch I think, change the rhythm up a bit.
Kind of keep it similar here and kind of have like some spicy notes, kind of how this G sharp just randomly comes out of nowhere. We can do some similar stuff with some random notes here. I for sure just broke. I think that's about it anyway. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think that's a fire beat. All that's left to do is track the beat out. We're going to drag in the original sample so that way it doesn't always be, it's not always chopped. I don't know, maybe it's my ADHD, but I like when I can hear the OG sample too. Like, I don't like a song that's just only. Nah, this some bullshit. All right, like I was saying, all we gotta do is grab the original sample. Okay, we pitch it up four. And what we can really do right here is make this one unique, pitch it down an octave. That'll be the intro. And then we're gonna scoot all of this stuff at the top back, and then we're gonna just separate each part. So basically it'll be like, boom, drag this back, slide this up here, turn everything back on, and then just slide this section back as well, throw this in here, and maybe take one more part of the stems and also throw that in there. Um, I'm thinking something like this. Let me hear this. This waveform look beautiful. All right, let's take like this section maybe. Turn this down. Smooth, it's really that simple. I'm not gonna like add a bunch of chops and shit to the arrangement, cause honestly, that's up to the engineer. Subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm gonna play you guys the finished beat right now. Join our Discord. I think we're about to hit a thousand members. So if you wanna join our Discord, feel free. Comment some video ideas below. I'm gonna give away a gift to some of the first 20 commenters. So make sure you guys comment. It also helps with the algorithm and that also helps me. So I appreciate you guys. I love y'all. Make sure you guys are staying true to yourself. Stay true to what you uh, believe in and what goal you have and make sure that your actions align with those goals. Stay safe out there, man. And I will catch y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bitch ass.
Thank you.